Hey everyone, so today I'm starting off by showing you guys my favorite go-to festive holiday makeup tutorial. So to start off, I'm just applying my Cetaphil moisturizer evenly throughout my entire face to help soften up my face and also just to moisturize. And this was great before foundation especially because it helps to even out my skin tone and I really like it a lot. Now I'm just taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Oil Free because I have a combination of oily to dry skin. So by applying this, my makeup stays in place all night long, especially the face makeup. And I like the way my makeup looks in photos um, when I use this. Now I'm taking my Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation by Benefit. And I like this a lot because it's such a lightweight formula that you barely even feel the foundation on your face, which is my favorite kind. And it has no parabens or anything harmful like that. So I'm taking a damp beauty blender sponge, as you can see here, and lightly touch that all over my face until it is blended. And now I'm just going to be taking this Real Techniques um, blending brush. I'm just going to be buffing the foundation even more into my skin so that way um, the foundation is really set and I like the way it looks when I use this after I use the sponge. And now I'm just taking my MAC Mineralized Pressed Powder in the shade Medium Dark or Medium Plus, however you want to say it. I'm just applying this all over my face to set the foundation and face makeup. Now I'm taking my NARS highlighter, I think it's called Illuminator actually, but I'm just applying this to my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, my forehead and chin. And this just helps to give a dewy finish in the winter time, especially when your skin is so dry that nothing is dewy like it is in the summer. So this helps give the illusion of that. Now I'm going to set in my eyebrows lightly using my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I'm taking the top three colors, so the top right colors, um, Velvet Resolver, and I forgot the name of the other one. But I'm just applying this using a precise angled brush by Urban Decay and applying this all over my eyebrows, I'm about to say eyelids, eyebrows. And I'm just going to be taking this white eyeshadow and applying it underneath the eyebrow to highlight the brow bones. Now to bring some color to my face, I'm taking my NARS Blush and Orgasm. If you could get past the name of the blush, that would be awesome. But I love the color. It's such a peachy pink. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, which is not too bad. And this just adds a really nice glow to my face. And I really like the way it looks, especially with this foundation and makeup look. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Sin, and this is a primer which helps to set my eyeshadows into place and keep them from fading or creasing the entire night. And I love this because you don't really need to wear any other eyeshadows on top of it, however, for this look, I am. So now I'm taking my Bobbi Crown Shimmer Brick Palette in the color Pink Quartz, and I'm applying all of those colors. At first I'm using that color, but then I'm just taking all of them combined and just putting it all over my eyelid, and I love the way this looks. And then later, um, I've not showed in the video, but I also put this also as a highlighter and it gives such a nice glow to my face, so I love doing that. And fun fact, Taylor Swift has this palette in the shade Bronze. Now I'm just going to be taking those same colors and applying a little bit underneath my lower lash line to help give um, a softer finish to the look. Now going back to my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, I'm taking the shade Velvet Resolver and I'm taking my MAC 217 Fluffy Brush and applying this with a clean brush into my crease and I find that this helps soften the look a little bit so it's not a dramatic like sparkly to no um, color on the eyelid. I just like the way it looks, it's very natural and then I'm taking the um, right, bottom right color which is a sparkly brown but it's not too sparkly that you can notice it, it's very subtle and I'm applying this to the outer edge of my eyelids and this is just to help darken up the look so it's a little bit more smoky and nighttime-ish however you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Now taking my MAC Dome brush, I'm taking this middle color as you can see here which is a sparkly copper-ish base color. I'm applying that to my lower lash line to help soften up and bring the entire look together. Now I'm taking the shade called Heaven which is a white color which I use for the brow bone and I'm reapplying it to the brow bone because I felt that it faded away and um, once I applied the shimmer onto it so I'm just reapplying that. Then I cut up some eyelashes and I just did this for a more dramatic look. Um, I really just wanted to have fun with it. Obviously you don't have to do this stuff if you don't want to. And I applied this to the outer corners of my eyelashes to give a flared look. Along with mascara, I wanted to blend the eyelashes in and kind of add a wing to my makeup look to have it more fun and flirty, and so I just applied some Black Liquid Liner by Steel, which is my favorite eyeliner of all time. Now I'm taking my Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara and applying my fake eyelashes with the real ones to give a complete look. Now 
now it's time for the bold red lips. I'm using my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dragon Girl. Fun fact, Taylor Swift also has this lip pencil. I'm applying this all over my lips to give a bold look. Obviously, you could use a lighter color if you wanted to. However, I wanted to have fun with it. And that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to send me pictures if you decide to try this look out as always at BeautyBlast06 and at Wild Extremes on Tumblr. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I love you guys. Bye!